Hi guys, welcome back to this Tuts Plus screencast tutorial series. My name is Corey Simmons, and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to use the Gumby.json file to install modules and add-ons like Gumby's parallax scrolling feature. Alright, so you've learned about Claymate, you've learned uh, about SAS and Compass and uh, doing things the semantic way with Gumby, um, and now let's learn about like some of their um, extensions, which uh, if you watch the Claymate tutorial, uh, I, I told you extensions were the same thing as uh, add-ons or whatever, and they kind of are. Like um, <clears throat> you just add on these extensions, and uh, then you have access to like all the cool trigger stuff that they do, all the uh, tributes and stuff like that. Um, and remember, we grabbed the parallax one. We went ahead and installed that. And I showed you how to add that to your uh, Gumby JSON file, um, and then how to get that all loaded up and everything. So now let's actually use it. Let's try it out. So let's just grab this uh, this div here, Oops. and um, pop that in there, save it, and remember we'll put this on our local host here. Alright, so um, let's see, first we need to, get, we need to include uh, this sassy CSS um, file, the parallax one. And uh, if we go to Gumby and we just Google Gumby parallax, <clears throat> then we can actually look it up under uh, their GitHub name and look up like a little bit of documentation with it. So uh, usage is just, uh, you know, get your, uh, get this uh, Gumby parallax um, JavaScript file loaded up and also um, import uh, the components parallax. Uh, this URL won't work since there's no components folder or whatever. So let's actually do this manually. So we'll say import and then we're in our SAS folder. So we need to back out to this uh, root folder. And then it's in uh, Bower components. In Gumby parallax and it's the underscore parallax dot sass. Alright, so we'll save that. Come back, reload. There's nothing because we don't have anything yet. Okay, so hang on. Let's uh this div here has a class of parallax. It doesn't have any content in it, it's just an empty div. And uh, it's got an attribute of Gumby Parallax, but we'll get to that in a second. So we'll take this class parallax and we'll give it a background of um, how about another place kitten image and this time it'll be huge and then we'll say uh, no repeat alright now if we refresh a few times we don't see anything because we need to give it a height as well so if we give it like a height of say 300 or something and then refresh a bunch now we've got our uh, background. You saw like it jumped over a little bit. So if we want to see how this looks when we scroll. Let's give our uh, HTML element a big giant height of 2000 just so we get the scroll bar over here. Refresh a bunch because compass. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> scroll bar. There it is. Okay. I swear there's some way to like configure your compass um, watch stuff so that it doesn't take like 20 refreshes because it's insane, it's horrible. So I'm sure there's some way to, to do that to, where it's not horrible. Okay, but anyway, we start scrolling down and you can see like uh, the parallax is working. Like we start off and the kitten's nose, the bottom of his nose is right there. So there's like a big gap between it. And by the time we get up to the top of the screen, we're touching that kitten's nose. So. So it's actually parallaxing right there. Cool. Um, first, let's make it take up um, the entire height of the window. Okay. So now it's taking up the entire height. But now it's also um, has pushed down, like if we 
make our HTML height even taller. Refresh a bunch so we get it. There we go. So now it's like it's it's pushing down our content like way down there. Okay. So let's say we want our um, this this div right here above this image. So what we can do, uh, not div, but this section right here. So what we can do is grab that section and put it inside of our parallax div. Okay, and refresh. And now it's actually like moving alongside that. So let's uh, go down here to the section area and we'll give it uh, position relative and then just say top 240 and this will push it off the top there all right and then let's give it a background color so we can uh, actually see all right so there's our our section now and it's floating on top of that uh, that background so that's that's, a, that's one way that you can use Parallax with uh, Gumby to do some stuff. Um, and that, that's basically how you use all these extensions. You just uh, you go in here and you go into your Gumby JSON file. And uh, well, you do Bower install first. So you know if we want to shuffle, we go Bower install. We go over here to our terminal and type that in, Bower install Gumby shuffle. And then we would add it under add-ons uh, array. So actually just I'm pretty sure this has the same yeah, come shuffle. So we just add it on like that. And then we can do claymate build. It will concatenate and minify all that stuff into this uh, JS folder here, this gumby.min JS file. And as long as we make sure to uh, to actually manually add that script to our page, now we can use like gumby shuffle to do some stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's the gist of it. And then if you uh, if you wanted to know how to use it, if you just go to gumby's web or uh, their GitHub page, which is gumby framework, and just click on uh, shuffle or whatever add-on it is, then they'll have like some usage stuff with it. Um, so like a little bit of documentation to go along with it. In the next video, we'll look at one of the coolest features of Gumby, adding interactivity to your site with toggles and switches. My name is Corey Simmons, and from all of us here at Tuts Plus, thanks for watching.